Hello and welcome to Maths by Saz. This is my first lesson of D3, chapter number 1, Quadratic Equations and Functions. Before going to the introduction of topic, there are some key points. The first point is the difference between an algebraic expression and equation. Quadratic expressions. We have discussed a lot about the quadratic expressions in D2, chapter number 3. If you find any difficulty, I'll give the reference in the description box. You can watch the lesson from there. Then the next concept is the quadratic equation. Let's move to quadratic equation. An equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 where a, b, c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0 is called the quadratic equation. As we know, every topic has its own language and language helps us to understand that topic. Here the symbol, this small e stands for member, element or belongs to and this is a symbol for and. So it's important to understand the language of the topic as well for better understanding. Then the next thing is the general or standard form of quadratic equation. An equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 is general or standard form of quadratic equation. Here it is important that the coefficient of the square term which is a it should not be equal to 0. Then the question comes that why this should not be equal to 0. Look if in this equation, I'm making this coefficient of the square term 0. This whole term will become 0 and I will left with bx plus c equals to 0 and I will not have the square term with me and the equation will reduce to simple linear equation. So it's really important to understand. Then the next point that we have to understand is pure quadratic equation and equation in which b equals to 0 is called the pure quadratic equation. If we have the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, if I'm making b 0, this whole term will vanish and I will left with ax square plus c which is the pure quadratic equation. I hope you have understood these terms. For the better understanding of next lesson, you have to reinforce these concepts well. Please like, share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notification of every lesson in time and write your comments in comment section. Thank you very much.